Okay, so we are gonna start on our backs today. Um, if you want, you can grab a blanket or a towel um, and do that move where we roll up the towel and then place it towards the top of the mat. And then that, the towel is gonna come across uh, almost like the bra line, bring the shoulder break out. Um, you should feel, um, you should feel the shoulder blades kind of come down onto the bolster. You can also do this in the block. And then scoop the elbows forward and up, and then it'll flatten the shoulder blades down onto the blanket or the block. Um, and if you don't want to use the blanket or the block, of course, there's no pressure to use either. And I'm just going to make my way back here with y'all. So as you're coming onto the mat and you're taking the starting posture, just take a few moments to notice where you can better tend to yourself. So if there's a spot where you feel like, um, you know, there's some, some tension or you could pick up the arms and maybe replace them down onto the ground. If you could um, find a way to soften into the hips and get a little bit more grounding through the low back. Even the orientation of the feet here. So sometimes soles of the feet on the earth are really helpful if you've got low back stuff going on. And then just take a deep breath in and feel where the inhale moves in the body. And then exhale out. Good, again, deep breath in, feeling where the inhale moves in the body. Exhale out. We're going to do that just three more times, focusing on the inhale side of the breath. And see so if each time you're inhaling, you can just allow it to be a little bit longer, a little bit of a bigger breath in. And then just let the exhales flow out. We'll catch those in a second. And when you come up to your next inhale breath, let's just hold the breath for a brief moment, noticing the sensation of fullness in the chest, in the arms, in the body. And then exhale, press side out. And then just let the inhale follow. So just let easy breath come in on the inhale. And then on the exhale, really notice the effects of the exhale. Again, continue with that breath. Inhales, I just kind of float into the experience. And then the exhale um, is what we're paying attention to here. And I just want you to notice the qualities of the breath the texture of the breath and the specific function of the exhale as your body is receiving it here on the back space of the mat. And then go ahead and let that to come away. And we're just going to focus on that space in between the breath. So take a deep inhale in and then watch it move into the exhale. And then watch that exhale move back into the inhale. And exhale. So just acknowledging all of these parts of the breath. Taking these moments here to play with the inhales and the exhales in this way. By turning on this tool of awareness, we'll be better served as we're moving through class. Rather than just looking at the postures, Perhaps we're paying attention to that space in between the postures today. A little bit more. Just noticing the way your body moves. So that too is yoga in the in-between. Then if you've got this blanket or any sort of prop underneath you, just go ahead and find your way on your side body. Scoot it out and then come back down onto your backs. <clears throat> And we'll take soles of the feet onto the mat, arms wide. And just let the knees fall side to side here. Left and right. And then the knees come up towards the ceiling once you're even side to side. And just let the knees fall to the midline. Feet are to the outside edges of the mat. Take a deep breath in. Feel the belly and the heart lift. And then exhale, hand to heart, hand to belly. Inhale, feeling out the hands here, that power of the breath in, moving to the front space of the body, lifting and finding lightness. 
Exhale, feel that falling back to center, that grounding sensation, that firming and toning of the belly. We'll just take one more deep breath in. And out. Nice, and then heel to the feet towards the midline. Take the hands behind the hamstrings and just encourage them up. And we're gonna take the hands to the knees and let the arms come straight so the hands are catching the knees here. And using the arms, keeping the legs completely soft, just stir the legs around. Moving them in opposite directions one way, and then we'll move them in opposite directions the other way. Okay. And then take a breath here, just to hug them in towards the chest. Arms will come out to the side and we'll bring the knees up over the hips. Shins are parallel here. And then we're just gonna do the same thing, tiny little circles, one leg at a time. Let's take the left leg to start. Before we do, engage the belly button towards the spine, pull the low back, um, to moving towards the floor. And we're just gonna keep the whole body as still as we can while letting this left leg take tiny little circles. Maybe you take them a little bit bigger here for a sec, just to notice the range of motion, notice the core activating, and then reverse it, going the other direction, starting small to start. And letting these get a little bit bigger. Okay, and then bringing the knees together, and we'll just go right into the other side. So the right knee takes these tiny circles. Again, see how still you can keep the rest of the body if you're taking tiny little movements, maybe letting them grow a bit bigger here for a round or two, and then switching directions. Again, small, small, and then let them get a little bigger. And finally, both hands to knees, hug them in towards the chest. Gently rocking side to side. We'll go ahead and take one more gentle core exercise here. Let the soles of the feet extend up towards the ceiling, and just for a moment, arms can come up to the sides or down along the sides of the body. Just take some time to flex and point through the feet. Rolling and articulating through the toe mounds, pressing the heels up towards the ceiling, even getting a bit of a calf stretch here, maybe even into the hamstrings. Take little circles. Good. And then we'll interlace the fingertips towards the ceiling, release the pointer finger. On an inhale, lift the shoulders up. On an exhale, keep the shoulders lifted and just drop the left heel towards the earth. Inhale, lift the left leg back up. Exhale, lower the shoulders. Inhale, shoulders up. It's like the fingers are drilling right into a hold of you. Exhale, draw the right heel down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, shoulders. Exhale, lower the heel. Inhale, lift. Lower the shoulders. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, drop the heel. Inhale, raise it back up. Exhale, lower the shoulders. Challenge yourself here to do two more times each side, just moving with your breath. Notice if you're taking the tension here into the eyes, into the neck, anywhere that's not necessarily needed for this posture, and see if you can just find that strength in the core, strength in the legs, strength in the arms even, and allow these other spaces in the body to relax. Maybe just shake the head a little bit, blink the eyes. And once you're complete, you'll just hug the knees in towards the chest again, maybe even letting them come wide. Rocking side to side here. Good, and then find neutral through the spine, rock the head side to side, just get soft through the neck. And then find your way on up to tabletop. You can roll forward to back, or you can just cross or roll off to the side and come around. And move into cat cow. We'll just take a few here today. Let them maybe be a little bit bigger and a little bit more luxurious. Maybe you pause and one reach your motion and take some side bends here. Okay. Nice. And then come through neutral spine. So we're going to um, press down for the hands here, pull the shoulder blades move apart from each other. Then feel the tailbone drawing back. Maybe even feel the hips moving back a tiny, tiny little bit. 
And see if you can counter that with the top of the head moving forward. So you're really long through the back of the spine, and the belly and the front ribs are hugged up into that midline. Take the left toes back on towards the earth, press down, and on an inhale, extend the right leg back and hover it off the earth. Nice. Then exhale, bring the right knee down, and bring the left knee up. Inhale, extend the right toes back, press down, extend the left foot back. Lower the left knee and lower the right knee. Adding on, inhale, draw the left toes back. Hover the right foot back. Good. Lower the right foot down. Take a breath in. Exhale, elbows and towards the side bodies. Good. Inhale, straighten and lift the right leg back up. Exhale, lower the right knee down. Lower the left knee down. Other side. Right toes back. Press down. Hover the left foot back. Lower the foot down, take a breath in and plank. Exhale, elbows into the sides. Inhale up, release the left leg high, then lower the knee down. Lower the right knee down, let the knees come wide and sit back. And come up onto the fingertips today for child. So active, you're really pressing down through the fingertips, wrapping the upper arm bones back. We just want you to bring the left belly, left side belly towards the left thigh. And then rock right side belly to the right thigh. I'm just kind of rocking it back and forth here. Maybe as you rock, you get a little bit lower in the space between the thighs. And you can scooch the fingertips forward so you're keeping that length in the side bodies and under the armpit. And just come to rest the head here. Deep breath in to the back space of the body. Exhale, soften. Three more breaths here. Just noticing how the inhale now is surfacing in the back of the body versus at the beginning of the class it was in the front. Now the exhale is all about softening through the belly and the heart comes down. On your next inhale, go ahead and come back up to tabletop. Tuck the toes, draw the feet back underneath the hips. Inhale, draw the left toes back. Exhale, extend the right foot back. Good. From here, lower the right toe down onto the left Achilles heel. And I just want you to rock forward and back. Back, back, back. Come to stillness with the shoulders over the wrists. Press down through the hands, keeping those. Um, it's almost like the big toe and the toe next to it, whatever that toe is called, are wrapped around the Achilles heel here. So you've got a bit of a lever. As you come back into down dog, press and use the right toes to draw the left heel down. Inhale, lift high into the left toes. Exhale, draw them down. Inhale, lift high on the left toes. Exhale, draw the heel down. One more time. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, lower, then come back into plank. Lift the right leg. Good. Lower it down from here. And then we're just going to take a flow. So lowering all the way down towards the belly. Pops of the feet press through the bone presses. Heart moves forward on the breath in. Exhale, roll it down. Tuck the toes. Come up through tabletop. Exhale out and move into the other side. Right knee draws, or right toes draw back. Send the left leg back. And then the left big toe, the toe next to it, poke around the Achilles still the right foot. Rock it forward and back. A bit of a calf stretch. Good. And then press down through the heels of the hands, send the hips up and back. Down dog. Use the left toes to draw the right heel down. Inhale, lift high on the toes. Exhale, draw it down. Two more times. Big breath in. Exhale, draw it down. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Send it forward to plank. Release the left foot down next to the right. And take an additional flow. All the way down towards the belly. Tops of the feet. Cubic bone press. Roll the shoulders back. Heart forward. Exhale. Roll it down. Tuck the toes. Up through tabletop. And then back into child's. This time, just bend the elbows. Grab the opposite elbows with the hands and press the forehead down on towards the forearms, the backs of the hands. And then rock the forehead side to side. You can also, if you have a block, replace the forearms with the block here. Just grab the outside edges and rock it side to side. Good. And then start to extend yourself back into um, tabletop. And we're just going to press back up into down dog. So first down dog with both feet down, hip distance apart. Maybe you want to pedal to the feet here a moment. 
good. Inhale, rise up onto the toes. Bend the knees a lot and travel towards the front of the mat. Feet are hip distance apart. We'll take the hands to the front of the shins here. Scoot the heart forward. And then bend the knees, bring the belly down towards the thighs. And we're going to grab around for the back of the calves, maybe even the back of the ankles. Wrap the elbows back and they can disappear behind the calves. And then grip the ankles here and draw up with this pressure on the legs, scooting the heart forward. Keep the elbows and the forearms wrapped towards the shins and the calves as you maybe straighten the legs or just fold forward a little bit deeper. Shake the head out side to side. Good. And then soften the knees a lot. Let the arms hang heavy. Rolling on that. One vertebrae at a time. We'll reach the arms high. Exhale, interlace the hands around the back of the skull. Lengthen up through the back of the head here. Root down through your feet, maybe even lift the toes. And then lean the head back and the elbows wide. Exhale, stay. Inhale, lift the heart a little more. Exhale, stay. One more breath in. And then on the exhale, chin towards the chest, elbows come towards each other. And this is more about squeezing the elbows forward than it is about contracting through the neck. So just let the head hang here. Maybe it's gentle pressure on the hands. And then breathe space into the back of the cage. Good. On an inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, pull forward. Shift the weight into the right foot. On an inhale, let's lift the left leg. Doesn't need to be super high. Come up onto the fingertips here. Walk them slightly forward. This left hip is squared down. Uh, reach back through the big toe mat and sweep the heart forward. Take a breath in. And then on an exhale, bend through this standing leg and reach the left toes back as long as you can. Coming all the way down onto the uh, big toe now with the big toe. Inhale. Heart comes forward again. Take a breath in. Exhale. Tap the knee to the back of the right calf. Inhale. Tap the back. Exhale, squeeze. Now, I want you to really slow this down. Inhale, feel this extension back with the leg. Exhale, feel the squeeze in. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. This time, send the left toe back and start to walk the hands back on the either side of the right foot. You're doing some weight into that back foot. And just rock it forward and back a little bit here. Very minimal, maybe. Mindful not to let this knee come too far in front of uh, the front ankle. Good. And then lower this back knee down towards the earth. Interlace the hands onto the front of the thigh. Roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, lift the chin, take a breath in. On an exhale, press through the right foot, shift the hips back slightly, and tuck the chin to the chest. Good. Same here. Dropping this tailbone down, again, sending this breath to the back space of the shoulders, pressing down through the hands here on the front of the thigh, we're really going to assist in that. Good, take one more deep breath in, hold it. And then exhale, roll the shoulders back, shift the hips forward, open up the heart. Good, maybe just taking a moment here to roll the neck out. And then inhale, reach both arms high. Exhale, frame the front foot, tuck the back toe, on an inhale, sweep this right leg back and high. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward towards the left hand, come right away down onto that back knee. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, hands come to heart center, press, draw the left thigh bone back, and bring your right side body around toward the inside of the left. And maybe just stay here. Maybe you want to come a little bit deeper. You can also really bring the belly all the way to the thigh. Coming into a deeper twist. Feel the arms, take the mind. Find some place where the breath is able to move here sustainably. And maybe if you want a little bit more in the legs, tuck the back toe, lift the knee. On the next inhale, unwind, reach both arms high. Exhale, bring the front foot. Inhale, come to stand on the left leg, right leg lifts. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, flat back against the shins or the earth. Exhale, melt. 
reverse swan dive this time, come all the way up. Exhale, interlace the hands the opposite direction this time. Lengthen through the spine, lean the head back. Then on the inhale, keep the hands interlaced. So just come back up to vertical with the torso and take this right shoulder towards the right hip as you come into a side bend. Left elbow is up towards the ceiling. Good. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, over to the left. Really drawing the tricep belly, the tricep up through the ceiling here. Good, then inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, round the chin towards the chest, elbows touch. Inhale, arms lift high, and we'll fold on down, moving into the other side here. Shift the weight to the left foot, the right leg's going to lift, square the hips down, come up onto the fingertips. Maybe get some blocks here to help bring the earth up towards you. Start to bend through the standing leg and reach back, 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 back through the toes until the right big toe comes down on towards the earth. Walk the fingertips a little bit more, get that up dog expression with the heart, take a breath in. On an exhale, tap your right knee towards the left calf. Inhale, extend it back. So you know where we're going now, just moving with your breath on these taps, really feeling this sensation of squeezing in here, the core is working hard, and drawing the right toes back into the length of your lunge. Just playing with both of these dynamics, what it needs to get really small here, and then think about the breath, the posture getting bigger. Good. Last time, go ahead and lay on the toes back and walk the fingertips on the either side of the left foot. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower the knee down towards the earth. Hands come up to interlace around the front of the thigh here. Shift the hips back and draw the tailbone. So it's not tucking, but you're just dropping the tailbone down towards the right knee. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Take one last big deep breath in, feeling it hold into the back space of the heart here, and then on an exhale, shift the hips forward, roll the shoulders back, open up through the belly and the heart with the chin. Nice. Good. And then we'll bring the hands to reach high. On an exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, sweep the left leg back in time. Exhale, down dog. Right into the other side, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward, back knee down, arms reach high, hands down through heart center, and then the left side body is coming towards the inside of the right thigh. So you're actually feeling this inside, even though it's not moving in, you're feeling the inner thigh here turn on, and the belly turn on as you're moving into this twist, hands at heart center, or in any sort of additional progression that feels nice to you. Maybe lifting that back knee as well. Good. On the next breath in, unwind, reach both arms high. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, come to stand on the right leg, left leg lifts. Exhale, standing forward fold. Take a flat back in here. Exhale, bend the knees. Second step, draw the belly down towards the thighs, wrap the hands around to the back of the calves. My hands are really grabbing onto my ankle bones here, just for leverage. And then I'm drawing up, which brings my belly towards my thigh, lifts the heart forward, and on the exhale, I start to bow my heart, my shoulders, and my head over my knees as I straighten my legs just a little. And you can see my knees are still really bent here. That belly to thigh um, seam that you're creating is really important for getting a healthy stretch in the hamstrings. Good. Take one more breath in. Then exhale, release. Bend the knees a lot. Rolling on up. One breath at a time. Arms come high. Hands down through heart center. Good. We'll shift the weight into the right foot. Bring the left knee towards the chest. Set it up for figure four. So flex through this left ankle a lot. Turn out through the knee. And lay it across the top of the thigh. You can stay high if this feels nice to you. Or start to take chair with the right leg, bending the right knee. And as you're bending, the deeper you bend, the more you really want to check in with this left ankle and make sure it's still flexing. And stay here or come all the way down. Elbows might find the inside of the left knee and the left ankle. Once you have that connection point, you can send the sit bones back a little bit. 
heart forward. If you're here and you'd like to play with something a little different today, lift the torso up and then come into a twist, bringing the left elbow or tricep to the inside of the left foot. Then we'll all unwind. Coming back up to the top of the mat, bring the left knee towards the chest. Woo! And then exhale down. Right into the other side, right knees up, turn out, flex to the ankle, hands to heart center. And just start to make your way down through that progression. Trying to do the same as you did on the other side, so you keep this even. And again, if you'd like to explore that twist, it's the right elbow, so the heart is going to open towards the left side body. Sometimes it helps to draw it back first, and then slide the right elbow to the inside of the right foot. Pressing it, open. Flex your foot, flex your foot, even the toes. Good, we'll all start to unwind. Coming up, reaching the right knee towards the chest, and then down to standing. Good, just take a moment here, shake it out through the knees, shake it out through the hips and the shoulders, and then find stillness, take a deep breath in. Exhale, a moment just to notice what's going on in the body. Notice the experience you're cultivating. And next breath in, just float the arms high. Exhale, fold over the legs. We'll move to a flow here, meeting back and down dog eventually. If you'd like to just go right there, you can. If you'd like to move through plank, chaturanga, any of those additional variations, just take the next few rounds of breath to find those movements. <clears throat> Finding your way back to down dog if you're not already there. And on the next inhale, we'll lift the right leg high. Nice. On the exhale, shift the shoulders over the wrists and bring the right knee towards the right elbow. Doesn't need to touch, just bring it towards. And on an inhale, send it back and high. On an exhale, shoulders over wrists, twist it through to the left elbow. Inhale, reach it high. Now a little different, shift the shoulders over the wrist, bring the right knee to the right elbow, stay your shoulders over wrists, shift the knee to the left elbow. Shift it to the right, shift it to the left, shift it to the right, last one, shift it to the left, and then inhale, sweep it back up and high. Exhale, step it forward, right towards the right hand. Feet are wide here, come on up into your lunge. Nice. Deep breath in. Exhale from here. The right arm's going to fly back. The left arm's going to fly forward. And this right hand is drawing back as well. So envision this whole right side of the body moving back. The left side body reaching forward. On an inhale, spin the back foot down. Arms windmill coming into reverse warrior. Gaze can be up or down. Do take a moment to peek at that right knee. Notice that it's over the ankle and that the torso is entirely towards the side wall here. Then inhale, straighten back on the diagonal. Come on up through neutral. Keep shifting the hips to the back of the mat. And the right arm is going to come to reach forward. But we're just going to stay in balance here today. Take the left hand to the hip. Draw it open and back towards the back of the mat. Allow this right hip to glide under the right side body to get long. Right palm is facing up. Press down through the right big toe mound, a micro bend in the front knee. Good, then on an inhale, press from all the way up, right back into that extended posture. Bend the right knee. Inhale, come up through warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands and onto that back left toe. And then step it in slightly. So short little lunge. We're going to turn the back foot down and straighten through the right leg. And you might want to grab blocks here. Moving into pyramid. I love pyramid even though my fingertips can reach the earth out of blocks. I love pyramid with blocks. Um, helps me to get a little bit more length through my torso and my spine. And then I also get to bring a bit of my heart into this. So lock the hips back, press down through the big toe mounts. 
Scoop the heart forward, get leg through the spine, take a breath in here, and then on an exhale, round down through the spine. On an inhale, come back up, rolling it up to a flat back. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, roll it up. Last time, exhale, roll it down. Inhale, roll it up. And then choose either staying here for a few rounds of breath or come down, back, belly towards the thigh. Again, bringing a micro bend into that front knee so that you're protecting the hamstring. Good. And then on an inhale, come back up onto the fingertips, either on the blocks or on the earth. On an inhale, rock forward onto the right leg and come onto the left toe. On an exhale, flatten the left foot and draw the right toes up towards the face. Inhale, rock it forward. Exhale, rock it back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Last time. Inhale, forward. Exhale back. Go ahead and let the block stay there. We're just going to walk around to the side of the mat. The right toes are staying towards the front. We're going to turn the left toes out and flex through the right heel. Hands underneath the shoulders here. You can slide this right heel forward and get a little bit deeper if you'd like. You can sink the hips all the way down towards the heel. If the heel starts to pop up off the ground, though, lift the hips and bring the hands back more into the flat back expression. Good, and then Spider-Man and back around towards the front of the mat. Spin onto the left toes, left hand comes to the inside of the right foot, lift the hips slightly, nice twist, right arm lifts. Exhale, bring the front foot. Inhale, sweep the right leg back and high. Exhale, down dog. Good through here, go ahead and take a flow of your choice for just a few rounds of breath in your down dog. And then coming back into down dog if you're not already. On an inhale, lift the left leg. On an exhale, shift the shoulders over wrists, left knee towards left elbow or tricep. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, cross it through to the right arm. Inhale, extend it back. Now I'm moving through those side to side tap. So shift the shoulders forward to the left elbow, tap it to the right. To the left and the right. And then the left, last time, right. Send the leg back and up. And then step it through towards the left hand. Staying high on that back heel. Come all the way up with the arms. Nice. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Press through the feet here. Get long through the torso, long through the spine. And then exhale, twist into that length as you bring the right arm forward, glide the right side body forward as you reach the left arm back. One more breath in here, reach a little bit more forward with the right fingertips. On an exhale, turn the back foot down, windmill the hands, coming on up to reverse warrior. Nice big stretch in this left side body. Drop the left shoulder down. On an inhale, straight through the front leg. Nice, then come up with the torso. Keep shifting the hips to the back of the mat. Reach the left fingertips forward, length of the left side body. Right hand to the right hip here. And just give it a nice press open to the anchor point. You're really engaged here through the side belly, but that is stacked on top of the legs that are very strong. So press down to the big toe mounds. Again, micro bend here in the front knee. Good. On an inhale, reach on up. On an exhale, wind all the hands. Come on down. And then find that back foot stepping in slightly. Setting that first, second side pyramid. We're using the blocks to move them onto either side of the front foot. Coming up onto the fingertips wherever you are. Press down through the left big toe mount and wrap the left hip back. And anchor through that outside end of that right foot so the legs are locked. Lengthen through the spine, curve forward, and stay. Big deep breaths. 
Filling in all the way on this next inhale. And on an exhale, we flow the torso coming down. Inhale, coming up. Two more times at your own pace. Really articulating through the spine here. Like your whole spine is this ocean wave. And when you're done with three, choosing if you want to stay again in the squat back variation, or maybe come down a little lower. One more deep breath in. Exhale the air out all the way. And then finding our way back up to flat back if you're not already coming up onto the fingertips, rock the weight forward into the left foot. Exhale, curl the left toes up, rock them back. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Last time, inhale, forward. This time on the exhale, back. Keep the left toes pointing towards the front of the mat. Start to turn out with your right leg, bend the knee. I like to bring my elbow to the inside of my right knee here just for stability. You can also Slide that right or left heel out a little bit. Of course, any variations from here that you'd like. Good. Then we'll spy your way back around to the front of the mat, spinning on the right big toe mound. Right hand comes to the inside of the left foot. Lift the hips, press down through this right arm, and peel the left arm high. Gaze this. Good, on an inhale, reach a little bit higher. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, go ahead and sweep that left leg back and high. Exhale, down dog. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, side out the mouth, shake the head side to side. Another deep inhale. Exhale it out. And then rise up onto the toes, soften the knees, gaze towards the front of the mat, step or hop forward. Good. And we're going to find our feet to the outside edges of the mat. So heels anchor, toes turn out. Go ahead and sit down into malasana. I like to kind of rock side to side in malasana. If your knees are talkative, this might not be the best option for you, but sometimes it feels nice just to lift one heel and rock side to side. And then kind of shimmy your body down into the middle. If this is too much and the heels are uh, able to reach the earth here, slide a blanket there, or just sit up onto a block or find a flat back variation. Otherwise, if you're down low, triceps to the insides of the knees, press them wide, bring the palms together to heart center, and then press the triceps back into the, or sorry, the inner thighs back into the triceps. So there's tension points between the arms and the legs on both sides. Lift through the pelvic floor, press down through the feet. Good. And then really start to get that lift going. So press down through the feet, feel the glutes activating, feel the pelvic floor lifting. On an inhale, we're going to reach the arms wide and come all the way up. Nice. Interlace the fingertips, release the pointer on an exhale. Side bend to the left. Inhale through center. Side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Hands together, coming down, dropping them back to heart center, just see the hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out, press through the feet, get that engagement and on an inhale. Again, reach the arms wide. Interlace the hands, release the pointer fingers. Side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Side bend to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, draw it down. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands down. We're going to keep the weight into the left foot here and just release this right leg back along the mat. Coming onto the fingertips here, pressing through the floor, lifting the hips, curling the belly. I'm almost finding this um, cat like expression from cat cow. And just hold. Tuck the chin into the chest, really engage the belly. Length 
then strength back through that right leg, really press down through the left leg. Take one more deep breath in. And then on an exhale, lower the knee, lower the hips. Soften the belly, open the heart, and wrap the upper arm bones back. And then just take a nice, big, juicy neck roll. Good. And then we're going to tuck the back toe, come down onto the palm, tuck the back toe, lift the knee, and float the left leg back into play. Take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, slide down onto the forearms. Good. So options here, you can stay in forearm plank, lifting the hips slightly, maybe rocking forward and back on the big toes. Or if you'd like, press up into dolphin, and then you can walk the feet forward and walk the feet back. So your choice, which of these options you'd like to do, do a few. And then when you're done, you're done. You'll just drop the hips down onto the earth. Let the tops of the feet come to touch. Dial the pinky toes down. Rock the hips a little side to side. And then check the elbows are straight under the shoulders, forearms are parallel. Press down through the forearms. Deep breath in. Then on an exhale, just let the heart sink down with the shoulders squeeze together on the back body. Again, press, lift the heart, lift, spread the shoulders wide. And drop. Good, one more time, press. This time, just by neutral there, draw the um, fingertips, gripping the mat, draw the back towards the hips, and lift open through the heart. And drop the chin towards the chest, so that feels nice. One more breath in, and then rolling it down. Hands stack, bend the knees. Let the legs move side to side. Good. And then we'll extend the legs back along the mat, let the hands come under the shoulders. Either press up through tabletop or plank, your choice how much activation you want for this point in your practice. You can come back into down top or back into child's for a breath. And then we'll meet back up in down dog. And then make your way back towards the top of the mat, finding your way into Malasana. Heels come wide, toes turn out. Sink the hips low. Good. And then this time, just go ahead and bring the elbows up on towards the knees. A little bit of a different posture. Good. And then rock the weight to the right. The hands come down. Set the left foot back. Really slowly. So the um, right toes are turned out here. The knee is slightly out. The left big toe mound is back behind you. Press down through the fingertips and start to lift the whole underside of the belly and the body up towards the ceiling. So this is an engagement up and hold. Being really strong and clear with your breath. Take one more deep breath in, and then on an exhale, lower the back knee, lower the hips, open the belly, open the heart. I think I'm nice. Shoulder roll here. And just rocking it side to side here for a moment. It kind of feels nice to hang out for a sec. Good. And then hands under the shoulders, tuck the back toe, lift the knee, float the right leg back. Second set here. Again, coming down onto the forearms, options to stay here, forearm plank or rock it forward to back on the toes, or start to press it up, walking it into dolphin, and then walking it back. Staying with your breath, do as many of these as you'd like. I'm only gonna do two. Staying in the practice of sustainability for myself today. And then when you're done, just drop the hips down. Spread the elbows wide, bend the knees, and then we'll wipe side to side. Good. So from here, go ahead and come back up onto the forearms. It's gonna get a little bit of a quad stretch. The legs are wide here, wide as the hips, hands are underneath the shoulders. We'll just take the left arm and spin it in slightly, bend through the right knee, reach back, and grab the inside of that right foot. And maybe you're not even pulling here, but I want you to think about grabbing the right hip down. So when we reach back, we have a tendency to roll more weight over that left hip. 
wrap the right hip down. And then if you'd like a little bit more, start to hug that heel in towards the sit bone. Really pressing down through the left arm if you can with the breath, just to keep the heart present. Good, and then go ahead and let that right hand come down underneath you. The left arm's gonna come straight out, it's straight, you can't really see it, straight out to the side. And we're just gonna drop that right toe back behind the left and come down. You can have the right hand out to the side here. You can take a half bind if you'd like. Good, and then coming back onto the bellies. Getting ready to move into the other side. You might wanna kind of rock and side to side, feel that grounding through the pubic bone first. And then come on up both arms underneath the shoulders, turn the right arm in, bend through the left and reach back. And again, square the left hip down towards the earth. And this might be enough just in that squaring feature. Or if you'd like a little bit more, you can start to bend the heel in towards the sit bones. Good. Go ahead and release. Bring the left hand underneath the shoulder and let the right arm come out towards the side. We're going to rock over the right side body and kickstand the left toes back. Good. Coming back onto the bellies, bending both knees, letting them fall side to side. And then let the hands come under the shoulders, legs extend long, coming up into tabletop for just a breath or two. And really send the breath to the back space of the kidneys and the low back. Go ahead and keep the toes tucked. And go ahead and sit on the back under the heels. This is a lot in the knees. You can squeeze a blanket here underneath, or you can just come into seated cross legged. I just want you to bring the palms down onto the thighs, heels and the hands right up in towards that crease and just give a nice gentle press. Let the shoulders come up by the ears, drop the tailbone down. And then on an exhale, roll the shoulders back. Maybe another gentle neck roll. And we're just gonna spend a few moments here. If you can, with the toes tucked. So this would be a nice opening, really good for the lymphatic system and feet. So challenge yourself to stay there if it's not too excruciating always untuck the toes and come down to the tops of the feet. We just want you to bring your awareness um, internally, so that internal gaze up towards the space of the forehead, or maybe even the crown of the head. I'm just going to spend a few moments here sitting before we come into another couple final postures in Shavasana. And just notice what you notice as the attention is directed inward and upward. And the space between the ears soft. And the breath steady. And if your toes are still tucked, just rock forward, untuck the feet, and then kind of sit back up to the heels. And this time, palms up. Take a breath into that space that you were just paying attention to here at the top of our energy, the top of our physical space. And then maybe stay there, maybe just drop the awareness down, resting in the space of the heart. or drop it down even further, maybe into the space of the belly. And of 
course, again, stay there or drop it all the way down to the sit bones. Just allowing whatever is arising as you're paying attention in the space of the body. So whatever arises, arises. It might be color, it might be sensation, it might be emotion. It might just be curiosity. Start to deepen the breath. And exhale it out. Another deep breath in. Exhale let the palms turn down. Bring the heels of the hands back in towards the crease there. And then just straighten on this next inhale, lengthening through the spine, and rock the hips a little side to side. And on that exhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the chin. Hands come forward, take tabletop just so you can cross up the ankles. And we'll come on down to our backs. Just a couple of final postures here. Bridge will come into first, bring the heels in close towards the sit bones. Knees are parallel, tracking out from the thighs. Hands down. And just come on up. Your own time, your own way. Maybe it feels nice to stay a little lower today and think about the eyelids. Sit bones towards the knees, not as high, but way spacious in the low back. Maybe you want to challenge yourself to get a little bit more engagement here with the hamstrings as you come on up to the top end of the shoulders. Take one more breath in, and then exhale, roll it down. Let the arms come wide, let the feet step wide, let the knees fall to the left. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, turn your face to the right. And you're bringing the knees back up through center. Exhale, let the fall to the right. Take a deep breath in. And then turn the gaze to the left. Inhale, bringing the gaze of the knees back towards center. Exhale, let the knees fall to the midline. Just gonna gentle press your outside edges of the feet are parallel and the low back is growing towards the earth. And then maybe stay here, maybe heel toe the feet to the center and let the knees come wide to sukta or if there's any other postures that you might like um, to take for the next minute before we come into Shavasana, go ahead and do those now. Suggestions could be shoulder stand, plow, happy baby might even feel really nice. If you'd like a different twist, you can. Moving slow, moving intentionally, moving with your breath. Right, and the end goal is Shavasana. So these final resting postures are setting yourself up just like the asana practice sets us up for meditation. The whole practice here actually leads up to Shavasana as the peak pose where wisdom integrates within the body. So just keeping that in mind as you're making any of these final movements, letting your intention in your mind get a little bit clearer about where you're headed. Letting the breath guide you there. And then eventually you'll just find yourself in this resting posture. The legs can be long. Maybe the arms come down along the side bodies. Maybe you want to take them up high and wide today. Before you come fully into rest, just shake the legs in and out. And then let them come to stillness. And shake the head side to side, roll the back of the skull a time or two. And then find neutral. And take a deep breath in, feel the whole front space of the body lift. 
Exhale, soften. Staying here as long as you'd like today. If you have the opportunity to just stay and rest, definitely suggest taking the opportunity to luxuriate and indulge. Otherwise, you can just start to take some gentle movement. Bringing some deep sweetness back into the breath. Feeling that newness of energy on the back space of the practice. When you're ready, rocking off to the right or the left. I'm just taking a beat here to pause. Feel the earth. Feel your breath. And eventually coming on up into an easy seat. Using the hands to support you. Setting yourself up with intention. Mm. Just bring the hands to heart center. Gently pressing left to right. Let the thumbs come down to the sternum. Take a breath in. Exhale out. Before we finish class today, taking a moment here to acknowledge everything that inspired for us today. Allowed us to hold space in our practice, looking internally as well as externally. We'll bring the thumbs up to the third eye, which you mentioned slightly, an acknowledgement of this practice, this space, and this beautiful community that came together today for the lessons and wisdom of the practice. All of this will bow forward, sealing our time together today and sending these as gifts out into the world where they're needed. Namaste. Thank you, beauties. I really appreciate you coming to practice. Drink your water. Be good to you.